So I've just got polyethylene bowl here. And I'm going to use another version of it, a smaller one, on the inside to contain the acetone. Make sure your bowl is resistant to acetone before you use it. And I'm putting a small tin lid in there, which I've already checked. The paint isn't going to come off in the acetone. You want the object to be fairly close to the acetone, otherwise you'll need a larger pool of vapour, as it were. I'm pouring in some acetone here. You may be better off pouring it in before you put the standoff in. And you don't need to put very much in, just enough to cover the bottom really. You can see some vapour escaping from underneath the cap there. Here's my item, just my logo printed at 0.2 millimetres in ABS of course, as this only works with ABS. And you can see it's fairly dull surface, not the best print but it's good enough for this demonstration. So I've put that in there, you need it flat if you can, low down so that it stays in the vapour and drop the lid on. It doesn't have to be fully sealed and it's probably better if it isn't so that any excess vapour can still escape. I'm now pouring in just some hot water from the kettle. It doesn't need a lot, just enough to warm the base of that inner container, which will obviously get a good hit of acetone vapour into the inner container. I'm now going to leave it for about 20 minutes. It's worth checking it at intervals, but obviously you are letting some vapour escape whenever you do that, so you may need to top the acetone up. You may get droplets form, and if you do, you may be better off leaving it cold rather than warming it up like I did. But this is a safe way to warm it up. There's no risk of fire when you're doing this. So once you've taken it out, be aware that it will continue to smooth for a little while. So I put it in a couple more times, and you can see we've got a bit of shine on it now. You can see it hasn't completely smoothed it out, and obviously if you want a really polished object, you need to either sand it before you smooth it or print at a much higher resolution than I did. 0.1 millimetres is typical, depending on what sort of finish you're looking for. But it will polish it even if it doesn't completely smooth the surface. And you have to be careful how long you leave these things in there for. You can either do a hot bath like I did at a very short time, which is generally better, I feel, or you can do a much longer exposure. Now here I've got an untreated one and a treated one. You can see there's a slight shift in colour as well. The treated one, you can see there's some shine on that, and you can see that the untreated one is relatively dull. And you can see there's a slightly different colour as well. And you can see that a little bit more clearly in this image. The upper symbol is the one that's been smoothed, and the lower one is just straight off the printer. There are some solvents which are being looked at that may be able to smooth PLA, but they're quite nasty solvents, whereas acetone isn't too bad, although I wouldn't recommend breathing it in too much. And of course, you do need to be careful about not leaving your prints in the vapour for too long, especially if they have thin walls, because they will start to soften so much that they won't support their own weight and they'll collapse. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, let me know. If you have any requests for specific topics related to printing or anything else, then by all means, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot.